Hello friends, today I want to tell some stories, uh, please, please listen to all of them, I think you'll get something out of all three. The first one I want to talk about, these are true stories, uh, there was a guy that had great aspirations of finding a great diamond and he just dreamed about it all the time and wanted to go find a diamond. So he sold his land and he searched the world and he found some decent diamonds. But the guy that bought his land saw something shining in the sand and he dug it up. It was one of the world's biggest diamonds ever. It's in the Queen's Crown Jewels. This is a true story. The Lord puts us sometimes where He wants us. It, it talks about in Acts that the very places we live, the very times that, that we have, uh, are He's given them to us and He's put us where we're at that we might find Him. It's no accident you're listening to this video right now. This is the time to find Jesus. The next story is about refining gold. I, I did a short, short video. I took some scrap gold jewelry to the foundry and, and had it melted. But if, if a person wanted to refine gold super pure, this is how a goldsmith does it. He, he uh, crushes the ore and separates the gold and, and then he puts it to the fire. And he heats it up, all the impurities come to the top, and he scoops it off. And he repeats this process, heating it up, scooting the, getting the impurities off the top. Do you know how a goldsmith knows when the gold is, is pure? When he can see his face in the gold, clearly he knows he has pure gold. That's exactly why we're going through this time here on earth. We're being refined. We're being purified. Sometimes the fire isn't pleasant, but we're going to come out perfect in Christ. The third story I want to talk about, the third story I want to talk about it was a... Uh, uh, a guy that had committed some really uh, bad crimes that deserved death and uh, he went before the judge and found out that somebody had paid the price for his crimes they had died for it and the judge told him you you just have to believe that he paid the price for your crimes and sincerely repent and be sorry of what you did and change your life, live new, and, and all your all your crimes will be wiped away because this one fella paid, he died for your crimes, your sins. Well, that's exactly what Jesus did. He paid the price for all our sins, for all our iniquities. And if we truly repent and are sorry for our wrongdoings, if we accept Him as the true God and Savior, and we start living for him. If we love him, we do what he says. If we accept this, this is exactly what settle out of court. Don't wait till court day. If you wait till court day, uh, it's going to be too late. You're going to you're going to have to pay the price for your crimes. But if you settle out of court before court date and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you you will absolutely be saved. If you truly repent and turn your heart to Him, quit wasting time. Quit putting it off. You never know. You could you could die in a car wreck. Uh, something could happen uh, suddenly. Uh, don't wait. Turn to the Lord Jesus. He loves you. He shed His very blood on the cross and paid the price for our sins. Brothers and sisters, I love you very much. May the Lord, the Christ, Jesus, bless you, lead you, guide you. Amen.